yeah, I'm pretty close to uh, getting some uh, ammo. If you see an ammo crate, just um, just blink twice. Okay, I I passed it, but I will find it eventually when I come back. We will kill those two guys to get a well to get a uniform. And I'm stocking up on bullets here because the last uh, Colombian mission will be extremely difficult. Even more difficult than uh, the Li Hong assassination, which is very hard to believe, but it's true. And you can dual wield in this game. Where are you guys? Here you are. Oh, you didn't die. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a waste of bullets, but at least I didn't get shot. And I still have an AK-47 with a full clip of ammo. Yes, that way. Now I only need to get back to the village, but first I'll, I'll search for some, uh, some more ammo. Yep, here we are. Now, I'm not going to holster the weapon, but um, the guards won't fire at me anyway, because it's normal for um, guys with my uh, uniform to have this weapon, so uh, they won't get mad if, if I'm carrying it. Let's see. Okay. Now... Another interesting thing about this game is that uh, the physics are quite impressive for its time. For example, see how the leaves bend around Agent 47? Now this is a physics mechanic that games like Crisis today are bragging with, so you can see how for the year 2000 this was a really advanced game, at least uh, physics-wise. And um, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, Indian village right there in the northeast. And yeah, this game came out in the, during the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 era. And you know, it, it was very impressive for its time. The only other console that um, came out during that time was the Dreamcast, but unfortunately that kind of failed. And um, the Dreamcast came pretty close to the PlayStation 2 in uh, power, but due to lack of support, it failed. And um, another interesting thing about this game is that it has mirrors. Well, that's <laughs> not really interesting, but uh, the interesting thing is that Hitman 2 Silent Assassin doesn't have mirrors, and that's because uh, they were developing it for uh, uh, consoles as well. And due to uh, some time constraints and uh, uh, technical issues, they didn't manage to get the mirrors working properly, so they didn't reflect anything. So in Hitman 2 you will only see some uh, <laughs> replacement uh, mirrors, so to say, which don't reflect anything. But that was fixed in uh, Hitman 3. Now remember that uh, this game is a PC exclusive, so uh, that's why they could go crazy with it. And the interface is also PC oriented, because you do a lot of things with the mouse. Alright, here we are at the Indian village. I'm just going to take out the holy figure so that the uh, guys won't shoot at me. They have little uh, tubes which they use to uh, fire poison darts at me. And that's the bridge we will take to uh, get closer to uh, the drug lord. Here, I bring you this lost idol. 
which is uh, <laughs> very low resolution. Uh. So here's the chief. I bring you your lost idol. White man, you bring back joy into our hearts with the return of Chiyatsulox. But the drug lord took my brother also. He is at the big bridge. If you follow the river west, you will find him. When I come back, you must show me a way to get close to the drug lord. Yep. So these guys are now friendly, almost. They will not shoot at us anyway. Well, if we don't shoot at them first anyway. Um, oh, fire. Well, that's, that's really clever, you know, fire in a uh, <laughs> straw cottage. Okay. Now here's where we need to go all the way on the other side of the map, here on the bridge. And there are a few problems with that. First of all, the chief's brother is guarded by six guys, each having AK-47s. The other big problem is that uh, there's a guy in a turret nearby who's uh, carrying a really powerful weapon which can kill you in just two or three hits. I don't exactly remember the name, it's something with uh, 60, but anyway, yeah, Agent 47 can't fall in the river because he is protected. Now, uh, if you're watching this uh, Let's Play on your uh, on your PC, you can see some interesting uh, trivia uh, in the bottom left corner of the screen, which you can obviously disable um, using the player options. But I recommend keeping it on because there are some pretty cool facts about this game and the Hitman series in general. All right. So, yeah, we have a helicopter as well, and it's nice that the producers uh, spent time to uh, add all these little details, because the helicopter doesn't actually do anything, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a bonus to the immersiveness. Now, here are the three guys, and another three there, and there's the guy with a uh, powerful weapon. So, I'm just going to this is my tactic who wish me luck okay who okay let's see how many bodies we have oh my god only five. This is not good. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. All right. So hopefully that guy didn't see us up there. Oh my god. He's down now. I don't know why, but he's down. Okay, come on, prisoner, where are you? Let's run! Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know where, where the dude went, but uh, apparently he's free, so <laughs> that's good. Now this is really not an easy mission, uh, especially on normal difficulty level as I'm playing. Uh, and actually, uh, this game has easy, normal and hard settings. So it's not like the other games which have normal, expert and professional settings. So uh, normal here is actually more like uh, an expert setting, actually. Because easy. <laughs> Even though it's named easy, it's it's not really easy. So, yeah, I'll just uh, follow the riverbed. Hey, guys.
Hmm, I wonder where the prisoner went. And I only have two Berettas with uh, uh, just over 180 bullets. And, oh, I'm really curious how I'll be able to uh, finish the last Colombian mission with only so few bullets. Okay, chief. <laughs>